Hello, my loop friends. Welcome to Live Loopers. I'm Alex. Since the last video here on this channel, there has been a release of Loopy Pro 1.1, and now there are all kinds of new features and enhancements and all kinds of things that it can do that it didn't used to be able to do before. One of those things uh, kind of took me a minute to get adjusted to, and that's what we will be talking about in this video. Appearing on your screen right here is the template that I used to use for Loopy Pro 1.0. It is basically broken down into four sections, and the four sections are pretty much one color each. There is orange, yellow, purpley, and uh, bluish. And I use each of those colors to represent a different uh, musical function type. Uh, the orange ones are percussion. The yellow one is low register bassy type stuff. The purple one is atmospheric kind of background stuff. And the bluish one is my main melody driver where I do more of the high frequency, high register stuff. So in addition to it being laid out uh, with those vertical sections, it's also laid out with a horizontal so that it's kind of like a grid. And in the middle here you can see there are buttons called Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, and Group 4. And those buttons can silence uh, everything except for that horizontal row or bring back everything except for that horizontal row. And those grouping buttons in the middle used to use the function called stop, you know, stop and start again. And uh, I found that between Loopy Pro 1.0 and 1.1, there's been kind of a change and they have split uh, stopping. It used to just all be called stop, but now there is stop and start and there is mute and unmute. Uh, and now, what start and stop used to do used to be what is now muting and unmuting. It used to just make the loops be quiet, but still have the little thing going around so you could see where you were, and you could, uh, you know, press start again and have them jump right in at that point. But now, start and stop just sort of makes a hard stop. You don't see the little pointer going around the loop anymore. It's just stopped. And when you start again, it starts again from like the 12 o'clock position and it just starts and goes around. And um, that has the added consequence of sometimes it can throw my loops out of phase and my uh, immediate instinct is, oh, I just have to get better at practicing uh, starting them again so that they um, will be in time, but I make really complicated loops that don't all fit together nice and neat, and so just, nah, nah, do doesn't work. Uh, but I have also found that in the new Loopy Pro 1.1, uh, there is now an action where you can uh, phase align all of your loops, and what that means is that Loopy Pro keeps track of how your loop was originally aligned when you first recorded it. So if it ever gets out of phase from like starting and stopping again, you can use that phase action to just line it back up again and that was very helpful i mean that was kind of a bit of a you know lifeline for me uh and i made these buttons here that are called fix uh o fix y fix you know they each one fixes a different color and so you can rephase a line and get all of your loops back into time. And if you are interested in uh, figuring out how to make a fix button like I have uh, at the end of the video, I will show you just how easy it is to make one because it's really easy. And so that's nice to be able to uh, fix it so it sounds good again, but when you're performing, you don't really want it to sound bad at all, even for a second or, you know, no. So, now for Loopy Pro 1.1, uh, I have uh, found my way through 
and uh, change my template all around. So let's see uh, what the new one looks like. This is my new template for Loopy Pro 1.1. Uh, I can use it to illustrate more how uh, isolating the different parts by function is really helpful. Like for example, uh, you can drop out everything else except the drums. Bring it back. Uh, you could drop out everything except the melody line. Bring it back. You can do things like just uh, give yourself a little bass boost by uh, bringing down the volume of everything else relative to the bass, or turning up the bass. Um, it's kind of cool. The reason for the horizontal rows might not be quite as obvious, but uh, some people like to write songs in like an A part and a B part, or the chorus and verse part of their song, or you know, bridge or whatever. Uh, you can uh, make a loop that has some drums in it, some bass in it, and some melody line in it on you know one row, and then you can record different drums, different bass, different uh, melody for the chorus, and then you can switch between them, and that's super handy. Uh, but it's all kind of a moot point if it doesn't work like. I expected to. So the fix for that was really simple. Uh, all you had to do is just uh, switch uh, mute or start or start and stop to mute and unmute actions, and it uh, kind of works again as expected. But then I thought, hey, since uh, there's split, since there's a split now, and you have like these, you have these two options. Uh, why not leave the start and stop as it is? Uh, start and stop work by swipe up and swipe down. But the uh, swipe left and swipe right wasn't being used for anything. So I was like, why don't I just use swipe left and swipe right to add the mute and unmute? And uh, then it will work as expected. I tend to think more in my music writing in terms of like I'll make a whole bunch of busier stuff and then I'll use one line to make just like really nice sparse stuff and so for example I can take group two and just uh, solo that and then you're in a nice sweet spot and if I want to like feature something if I'm saying something real important and it's sort of like the song continues, but it's, you know, pullback of all the rest of the busier stuff. And you just get, you know, something a little nice bed. I love it. Um, so uh, now I find that uh, everything works as I expected, as I was used to it before. But now I actually have, like, even extra stuff, you know, more than before. Because now I have this new ability to sort of stop everything and then restart it right at the top of the clock, uh, going around again. And I don't use it often, but in certain situations, it's kind of fun. And if it ever sounds really super wonky, uh, you just press the fix button. Boom! It's uh, back to the way it's supposed to sound. And uh, with all of that working together now, uh, I am really, really enjoying myself in the Loopy Pro 1.1. Okay, before I get out of here, I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to make your very own fix button. Uh, I have deleted the orange fix button, and uh, I am going to tap the pencil to go into the canvas, and I am going to press the button button, which is the third one in, to create a new button. I am going to take that button and put it where... Take that button and put it where it goes. I am going to color it orange because that's how I do. And call it the orange fix button. And when you press it, uh, we're going to go look through these different functions and scroll down till we get to the one that says phase align clip. And press phase align clip. 
it says target, we're going to tap that so that instead of none, we can choose specific color down here. And the color we're going to choose is orange. And that is all there is to it. Nothing more to it than that. And then uh, now we have a button you can press. Whenever you press it, it will just uh, phase align all the orange clips back to the phase that they were in when you originally recorded them, and they will sound nice and lined up again. You could make a button that would just phase align all clips. You know, how easy would that be? So cool. All right, my loop friends, I hope that helps you out a lot. Uh, it has definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, I am on the road towards the looping setup that I have always wanted. I can just taste it so close. I can just feel it. I just have such a small, little, tiny bit more work to do. Um, and uh, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please do uh, tap the thumbs up and leave a like. And um, if you want to ask any questions, then just leave a comment. And if you want to subscribe, you can. And um, goodbye.